So this is going to be a quick recreation of a lead sound that I've been using in a few of my tracks. And it seems to be working really well with this kind of cinematic epic stuff. Let's just have a quick look at the MIDI notes. The most important thing about this are the pitch bands that I've made. So this has been the default vital sound. So the main thing that I want now is a really rich and full sound. So I'm pretty much going for the very standard saw stack kind of sound. So let's just activate our second oscillator here and let's pitch them to different octaves. I'm gonna pitch this one up two octaves and oscillator two is gonna be one octave higher. And let's just use the unison here for both of these. So we have this sound. What I like to use to cut the highs and then bring them back later. I'm just gonna use filter one and route both oscillators to this and then just cut it around here. So it sounds a bit muffled now, but we're gonna use the compressor over here and then some distortion to bring a bit more of the highs back. And after this, I'm gonna use a reverb. Around 30% is gonna be fine, I think. Maybe give it a bit more size, make it a bit longer. And after this, I'm gonna use an EQ to boost the highs. And because the compressor and uh, distortion have uh, brought up some of the low end as well, I'm just gonna use a filter down here and just cut the lows around here maybe. And now I would start with the post-processing. So maybe use another EQ here and just cut some of the lows here. Also because there are some resonant peaks here, I'm just gonna slightly lower the mids here as well and then just boost the highs. Then after this, some saturation. We have to be careful with this now because we are using a reverb in Vital, so we are essentially gonna be distorting the reverb now if we go too hard on this. So maybe just soft sign and kind of gain compensate a bit. Again, the saturation has brought back some of the low end that we cut out before. So let's just cut this again here. And then what I like to do for this kind of stuff also is to use a compressor and actually compress the sound really hard so the sound gets some attack. And then just use the makeup gain. And after this, just maybe a bit more reverb, just deactivate all of this. Also dial this back because we really don't want to go too hard on this. Maybe dial back the highs a bit. We can also dial them back a bit here maybe. Then just see how it sounds in the mix.